Ladies and gentlemen, this Power Perspective is sponsored by Grand Valley State University. Please welcome founder and executive director of the Detroit Phoenix Center, Courtney Smith. Have you ever wondered how many youth are on the street? Where do they sleep? How do they get food? How do they shower? How do they exit homelessness? In America, 1.6 million youth are homeless on any given night. And in Detroit, one in five of those youth are victims of human trafficking. Homeless youth are 346% less likely to graduate from high school and three times more likely to commit suicide. But these young people are incredibly resilient. They have so much to offer the world. And how do I know? Because it was 10 years ago that I was a homeless youth in Detroit. It wasn't easy, but thanks to my village, I was able to graduate from high school and go on to college. I had stable housing and things were good for me. Until 2016, I was threatened with eviction because I found out that my youngest brother was also experiencing housing insecurity. So I began to house him and his friends and my roommates were complaining to my landlord. And my landlord insisted that I could not run a shelter out of a room that I was renting. So I felt powerless because they had to leave. But my hope was restored when I had the opportunity to take a train journey across the country with other millennials who wanted to know how could they make a difference in the world. And on this train journey, I learned that the best way to serve homeless youth lied within those who experienced it. So I came back to Detroit, I convened a group of young people, and we built the Detroit Phoenix Center. In 2017, we opened the first and only asset-based resource center here in the city of Detroit, where young people can literally just drop in to take a shower, to wash their clothes, to access our food pantry, to get life skills and educational programming. This quarter alone, we've served over 300 young people. And we're undergoing, thank you. And we're undergoing a major renovation thanks to the Neighborhood Challenge. In 2018, we opened the first and only emergency winter shelter here in the city of Detroit that housed 30 youth. And this year, well last week, we opened our youth transitional home which provides permanent housing to young people. It has been, yes, yes. It's been, a, it's been a labor of love. But what I didn't mention was a few days before the Detroit Phoenix Center opened, my youngest brother went missing. And it was on the day that the Detroit Phoenix Center opened, I learned that my youngest brother had died by suicide. And it was on that day that I knew that this work was not just a passion project, that it could be the difference between life and death. And though the hardest reality that I had to come to grips with was that I could not save my youngest brother, but I could preserve legacy. So we created the Blair Memorial Scholarship and dedicated a room in his honor. You see, deep-seated pain can either cripple us or force us to show up in the world in a way that creates a better version of ourselves. It was on that day that I decided that I was no longer going to be a person that waited around and asked for permission to do the right thing. That I was going to be unapologetic in my pursuit of social justice no matter what the consequences were. And so Detroit, I'm inviting you to partner with us. Let's not be a city that waits around and asks for permission to do the right thing. 
Let us be a city that leads the way in solving the most precious issues in our country. Let us create a city where every child and youth has a place to call home and the tools and the resources that they need to live out their dreams. Let us be a city where everybody knows that Detroiters save Detroit because we are saving our hardest to reach youth because they are our future. Thank you.